In this video, we're going to talk about how a room supervisor will be able to stop a test session and also how the room supervisor will mark an examinee's test complete. So this is on page 60 of the online administration manual. So we will discuss those two items, stopping a test and marking an examinee's test complete in the training platform for ACT. Uh, what we do in the training tra uh, platform, remember, transfers to the uh, task are the same in PA next. So as we go through the the um, the training platform, make sure you're following the steps that you see on page uh, 60 for both stopping a test session and marking an examinee's test complete. All of you, all room supervisors, will have to stop a test session. There may be a situation where you may have to mark an examinee's test complete. Okay, so so um, before before you can stop a test session, if you have to mark an examinee's test complete, that must be done first. So let's go ahead and talk about stopping a test session. So on the very last test, when that when the students submit that last test, we are done. So testing is done. So you have to do some things. So room supervisor has to do some tasks to complete testing, so to speak. So on the very last test, after the last test is completed, whether it's it's single day testing or multiple day testing. Now be very careful with multiple day testing. Uh, stopping a test session must only be done on the very last day after that last test is completed. For multiple day testing, if if uh, English is only done on that first day, you must not stop a test session. Stopping a test session must only be done after the last test is completed. All right, so let's suppose we're in that situation here. So I want you to notice something. So notice the key right here, student test key status. So you have ready, resumed, active, exited, completed, or marked complete. So those different colors. These colors correspond to these right here. So notice that there are one, two, three, four, five, six of them. There are seven students here, right? And then some you see are uh, marked completed. Some you see, two are marked exited, and three just say ready. Okay, so so if you see completed, completed means that the students took all four tests, and, and they completed all four tests on their own. That's what that means, okay? Exited right here means that the students logged out of test nav. Either they logged out of test nav or the room supervisor logged them out of test, test nav for various reasons. Okay. Ready right here means that the students did not were not present. They, they did not log into test nav. Okay, ready means the student did not log into test nav, which probably means the student did not take the test. Okay, which means the student did not take the test, I should say. All right. So, so those, those would have to be removed by the test coordinator. The room supervisor does not have the ability to remove students from a session, only the test coordinator. Okay, before you can lock a, I'm sorry, before you can stop a test session, see those test session right here, stop test, a uh, stop session, before a room supervisor can stop a test session, can stop a session. And it also can be done by the test coordinator. But according to ACT, it should be completed by the room supervisor. In order for either the room supervisor or the test coordinator to stop the session, all these students in here must be either marked complete, marked complete or completed. So you must see that little blue right here. So all of these must be blue. And blue would either say completed are marked complete. Okay, so let's talk about that exited. So um, if it says exited, that means the the student was logged out of test nav. 
So the student is logged out of test nav, so it's exited. I must change this to marked complete. Okay, so I've got to change this to marked complete. So, so let's talk about how to do that. Let's talk about how to to uh, mark a session complete. So we're going to go and click on those two students right here, those two students that have exited. Okay. All right, so those two students have exited. Um, so I'm going to mark them complete. All right, so I'm going to go to the task pane right here. And you see right here where it says mark students complete. Mark students complete. I'm going to click on the little box right here. Then I'm going to go to the start. I'm going to click on start. And then you are going to see this. All right. You're going to see this right here. So they, they are the two students. OK, they have exited. I've got to mark them complete. All right. Now you can put a reason if if the reason applies to both of them, if, if that reason you put here applies to both of them, you can use this little check right here. Use the same reason for check students and sessions. But for our purposes, our discussion, let's go ahead and say that the reasons are different. So I'm going to uncheck this. When I uncheck this, I want you to notice what's going to happen on this side. So let's go ahead and uncheck this. Notice you're given a new reason um, field. OK, so let's talk about the possible scenarios. All right, and it's possible that these, these could happen to you. So let's say the first student became ill. All right, so the, if the student becomes ill, you will need to go and manually log the student out of test nav. All right, so you've already done that. It became exited. All right, so you're going to say um, student became ill, uh, became ill. OK, um, so student became ill, did not complete test. All right, now uh, remember that's an irregularity. So not only do you have to do this, but you also have to do an irregularity. So I'm going to put this. We're going to put um, an irregularity report has been completed for this student. OK, all right, obviously you can't. There's there's a limited number of characters. So let's just put in a uh, irregularity report has been completed. So there's only so many characters you can put in there. Regular report has been completed. OK, let's say the second person here that um, we um, logged out of test nav, let's say that person was dismissed for prohibited behavior. OK, so we're going to say student was dismissed for prohibited behavior. So let's say a cell phone issue. All right. Or um, was looking at someone else's uh, screen or something like that. So student was was dismissed for prohibited behavior. Now I don't I may not have enough characters to write anything else, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Okay. So I gave a reason for marking the student complete. Uh, the first one student became ill, did not complete test. Student was dismissed for prohibited behavior, and it really that's all you need to say if you want to say did not complete test. Obviously the student did not complete test because it was uh, dismissed, right? Um, did not complete test. Okay. All right, and then you are going to check these two off here. Make sure you do that. You got to check these two off, or you can use the top arrow, or you can do each one individually. See, uh, notice, notice the the colors change right here. So see how this was lighter blue. If I click on the top arrow or click on each each of those, it becomes darker blue. All right, so I have the reasons. I'm going to mark complete. All right, so I want you to see what's going to happen to the student's status, student's test status right here. See, it's exited, right? All right, so let's go ahead and mark complete. And then now notice the student is marked complete. OK, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to exit task right here. Exit task. And now look at what you see. So you have some blues, right? You have some blues here. OK, now. If I go, I'm going to show you something. If I go to stop session right here, let's see what happens. If I go to stop session, notice I cannot stop session still. Well, why can't I stop sessions? 
Well, remember, you can only stop a session if all of these students are colored blue. So complete, completed, or mark complete. Okay, so I've then got to somehow remove the students that didn't test out of here. That's what I have to do. But you don't have the ability to do that. So you see, if you go and you and you click on those students right here, those three students that are marked as ready, if you go and you go to task pane right here, notice there's no um, little button that says remove students, none. OK, so the test coordinator has to do that. The, so you got to tell the test coordinator to go ahead and move those students out of here. All right, let me just say something before I go on. So, so remember, this is the last test, right? So either single day or um, either single day or multiple day. So, so if this is a single day, the test coordinator could have already moved those students. So if the student didn't come to test, then you you would have the student do a makeup if the student didn't test. So. So hopefully by the time you get to that fourth test, by the time you get to that fourth test, those three students, the test coordinator would have already taken them out. So, so let me show you what the test coordinator would do to take them out, okay? So let me just show you this. Now you don't have the ability to do that, but I wanna show you how to do that. So hopefully by the time, by the time you get to that fourth test, those students that haven't started, will have been taken out, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and show you that. Okay, so so assuming the test coordinator would have done this before the uh, end of the fourth test, or even after the test, you, you tell the rooms, uh, you tell the test coordinator, hey, I can't, I can't stop the session because there are still three students that have, they're still listed as ready. I need for you to remove them. All right, so the test coordinator would do this. The test coordinator would go to sessions. Then the test coordinator would, uh, let me go to the school. Uh, test coordinator then would would um, go to the session, your session. So it was this one right here, right? This one right here. Then the test coordinator would then go to the task pane, click on show students and sessions and control sessions. Um, then click on the session list name right here, and there are the students. So they're the three students that need to be removed. So click on this, this, and this. So those are the three students that have the word ready. Okay, so then you would go back, the test coordinator would go back to the task pane, and now you see where it says remove students from session. You did not have that ability. So the test coordinator would have to do that. So then the test coordinator would do this, go to start, and then click on all three right here and then remove. And then it's removed. So now you can do this now. Now, now you can um, stop the session. Now, just to let you know, the at the end of the day, once all this is done, the rooms, the test coordinator could stop the session also. So, um, but you know, the ACT says it should be completed by the room supervisor, but just to let you know, the test coordinator could do that. So let's go back to to the to the uh, room supervisor and see what the room supervisor would then do. Okay, so I'm going to go back. I'm in as a room supervisor, so I'm going to go back and find the session. So it was um, uh, this one right here. Uh, let's see. Um, it was the one that said Wells, where there's only four students left. So let's go back and. And look at that. So we're going to go back to task pane, go to show students and sessions, control sessions. Uh, notice the students aren't listed because you have to click on this right here. So click on this and there are the students. So now this is your session. So all of your students are marked uh, are in blue. So remember the, the little key status right here. Blue means completed, mark complete. So now since they're all in blue, you can now stop the session. So, so single day at the end of the day, after that last test has been given, you stop the session once all of this is in blue. Multiple day, at the end of the last day, you do the same thing, okay? So you're gonna stop the session. So let's go ahead and stop the session. Let's see what happens. And the session is stopped. So you see it's now in red, all right? You see it's now red, it was, it was green, now it's red. 
Okay. Did you have a restart button? So leave it as that. Don't do anything else. So you're you you have now um, stopped the session. What I would then do is uh, lock the test. So I would just go to here, and the test is locked. You see that? So if I go back right here, see it's unlocked, right? You don't see a lock pad right here. So let's go ahead and lock the test, and it is now locked. Okay. So um, that is how you're going to stop a session. Okay. Now one other thing I got to remind you. So remember these right here. The ones that we marked complete, remember, those were irregularities. So, so as a room supervisor or the test coordinator, someone has to do an irregularity on these two students. So let me, let me show you how to do an irregularity. So you're not done for the end of the day on this because you had some irregularities. It's always a good idea. It is always a good idea whenever the irregularity occurs, to complete the irregularity at that point. Do not wait. Do not wait until the end of testing to do the irregularity because you're going to forget some things that occurred and you need to, when you complete an irregularity, you have to put the time that the irregularity occurred. All right, so, so uh, always complete an irregularity as it occurs. OK, so let's let's go ahead and and um, let's do the first one. So let's say this one right here. This was a student that was, uh, let's say, dismissed for prohibited behavior. Now, just to let you know, a student dismissed for prohibited behavior cannot take a makeup, cannot take a makeup. So so they're done. They cannot take a makeup. Now, they they can do national testing. But they cannot take a makeup during state testing. They are done. All right, prohibited behavior. So all you do, either you write these, these numbers down um, or you just copy and paste. Let me show you what to do. So I'm going to just go, up, go ahead and copy and paste, copy and paste. And then we're going to go to um, uh, up here under testing. You can go to, to student test right here. Student test. And then... Let's see. It's still turning. OK, so then I'm going to find the student. So right here, remember that student code that I just copied? I'm going to go ahead and paste. And then I'm going to search. See, I paste it. And then I'm going to search. And now there's the student I need to do an irregularity on. So I'm going to click that student, put a little check in the box. Then I'm going to go to the task pane. And I'm going to go here where it says manage irregularities. So I'm going to go to um, the manage irregularities. Then I'm going to go to start right here. And I'm going to do all of this information right here. OK, so irregularity date and time. So so that's why it's important that that you as the irregularity occurs, your your uh, writing the irregularity, either you or the test coordinator. So let's say the irregularity occurred um, today, and let's say it was at, and here, see the little clock right here? There's a little clock that you can you can do the times. So let's say it occurred at, um, let's say 11, uh, 11, 11, 10 a.m., right? Okay, so Notice it says 11, 10 a.m. right here. The irregularity type. So remember, the student was dismissed for prohibitive behavior. And let's say it was cell phone. Cell phone use, or it could be copying, given, receiving assistance. Those are the two more common ones that, that we have for prohibited behavior. So let's say it was cell phone use. All right, now, listen carefully to this. It's in the manual where this is stated. So, so remember the the cell phone use. The student will will not be able to take a makeup test. So here's what you would say. You would say um, student uh, used uh, or whatever the student may have done. Student looked at cell phone during test two. And then here's the time. You already had it listed. Um, Student was dismissed 
Okay, then you would say something like, um, uh, um, now you could determine, you, you can say, uh, do not score the test, um, which, which I would probably, I would probably do, um, uh, because that, that score test will count towards your SPS, right? So I would say, don't score the test, the, um, Student will not take the makeup. Will not take a makeup. Okay. All right. And then you would just apply to select it. Click on apply to select it. So here's my selected right here. And I'm going to apply to that. So apply to this selected. So I'm going to click apply to selected. And let's see. Um, seeing what's happening. Oh, there it is. Okay, so all this information right here, I forgot. All this information right here is now listed here. You see this? So this is here, this is here, and this is here. Okay, and then you save. So let's go ahead and save. And now uh, success saved all changes. Okay, so let's go to the other one. So exit task. I'm going to go back to my session. Go back to the session. Let's find the other students. I'm in my class right here. Oh, by the way, when you stop the session, it's now red. You see that? So your session is now red. So red means you stop the session. All this, all these four students were either marked complete or completed. That's what that means. So let's go and do that other student now. So let's go into um, show students in sessions, control sessions. So here's the other one now. So let's go ahead and copy this one right here. And then I'm going to go back. I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to copy. And you could write all those digits down. But it is very important that you do this as you go through the day. Don't wait until the end of the day to worry about those irregularities. Um, all right, so we're going to, uh, oops, I went the wrong place. So let's go to, oops, let me do this again. So copy right here, copy. And then I need to go to students test, student test. So let's go to student test. I'm going to go to student code, take this one out. And then paste it with the new one, and then search, search, and then there's the new, there's the other student. So for that one, we're now check check the box. We're now going to go to manage irregularities. All right, then I'm going to go to start, and I do the same thing. Okay, so here was the one I did earlier. Here's the new one. Okay, so for that one, let's say this one occurred. Um, on the 29th, and let's say that one was, that but that one happened at, let's say 8, 18 a.m. Okay, and the regular type, let's say it was illness, illness during test. All right, so let's do that, and then the comment you're going to say, um, student became ill during um, test one. Um, Student went home for the remainder of the day. So make it as detailed as possible, they said. But I think you still have a certain number of characters you can use. Student went home for the remainder of the day. Um, and then you're going to say, uh, do not score. Do not score student test. Um, Student and then say student will uh, take a makeup makeup test. Okay. Um, let's see. Let me go ahead and make this correct. Make makeup test. All right. And then we're going to say apply to selected. So here's the selected right here that I want. So apply to selected and watch all this information is going to be populated here. So let's go apply to selected. There it is. And then save. And uh, uh, there it is. Changes are saved. And that's it. So so um, don't wait until the end of the day to to do the irregularity. Now, make sure you have a discussion with the test coordinator, though, regarding whether the student does a makeup or not, because you 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 do need to put um, in the comments whether the student uh, test will be scored or not scored, makeup or not makeup. So have the discussion with the test coordinator. All right, you should have, you probably, 
as we do here, you probably will have a roaming proctor, a, a roving proctor that goes from ro room to room to um, to help out. And so you just let know, let the proctor know that you need the test coordinator to come by so you can discuss what to put in the irregularity. Okay, so that is, I believe, let's go back. So that is how you're going to stop a test session and mark an examinee's test complete. All right, so that is the end of those two, um, those two tasks.